Hey there, a few folks and dudes. Welcome back to Look How I Do Things. And I'm actually coming in a little bit earlier in my own video because just to explain, my wife went ahead and she's got her own Fortnite account and all that now, and we can play together on our PlayStations. And I absolutely love that we can go ahead and do that. And we were trying to do some duo squad stuff for those overtime challenges. You had to place, I think, like, I, I don't know, I think it was 50 maybe it was a daily I'm not for sure it was it was one of the two it was either a daily or it was overtime but right there asked me about my dino that's her and we tried to drop junk we were trying to go away from everybody but it turns out we didn't we actually found people and I thought I was done because they had already downed and gotten rid of her had already murked her and thirsted her and I was like are you serious right now so I don't know, I guess I, I guess I just went into overdrive mode, kinda how Trove and Migos and Hitman and Gavin tend to do. How they all sit there and when I get downed it's like, oh you ain't doing that. <laughs> so And of course the two I knock were the ones with guns, and the last one that came after me didn't even have a weapon. I just even at that point I was surprised. Which since I knocked three of them, that means there was a fourth somewhere. I don't think I ever found the fourth. Unless, I th I think also that maybe the fourth, because after this... Ah, that's what it was. See, he had half health, so his friend was somewhere else. But, and as you can see, it, it's jump cutting all the way to tomato. I really thought that that group right there was going to fly down and see me, but they didn't. And I decided to follow this crack over here, kind of towards the center of the map. I was checking out the shed. And decided to go to the trap cabin because I'm like, I'm going to leave Dusty alone. That sounds like a lot of problem over there right now. I, and a lot of problem I don't need. <laughs> but I figured, okay, storm's almost in. Get into the next circle. Go ahead and wait it out. See where we're going to end up being. That's such a weird lag from replay mode there. But trap cabin right outside the loot lake over here. And again, I just, I, I think I really do love how I, I thank Gavin really for figuring out how to sit there and show my life bar and show how many kills besides up in the right hand corner and also just show like where people are after, you know, I've already played. Even though I don't get these most of the time in-game, I do appreciate replay mode because at least I can show you guys. Now this person, I was trying to at least get a shot or two off. I could just barely see them in the storm, but I just didn't have it. But I figured I'd speed that up because right after here, after I get up on this mountain, this is when it gets interesting. Probably the most interesting. And see, I heard all that gunfire, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> but, see, I thought that that, I think it was a sniper shot or hunting rifle shot. I, I couldn't quite tell. Maybe it was a deagle shot. I really, really thought they were just up here, and I was going to try and sneak up on him. And I heard people flying. I hear rockets. <laughs> Again, solo squad's terrifying. Because, yeah, I wasn't... I, I wasn't alone to start with, but after after Elise got thirsted, it was like, what do I do? That guy, I don't think he meant to blow himself up. I really do think he was trying there. I mean, I, I feel I feel his pain. I, I've been there. I've been that skin and done that. <laughs> but couldn't believe I almost forgot that blue pump as well. But I was trying to play it good, trying to play it cool, and for once... And when I mean play it cool, I don't mean like, oh, I'm a real cool dude. No, I mean like, I'm trying to stay cool. I'm trying to keep a level head because my hands were shaking like this. I'm forcing it now, but no joke, like towards the end or even when I'm about to, well, you'll see here in a little bit. I don't know how I pulled this off. I really don't. That's, that's no lie. Oh, I remember this one. This Randy man right here. This Randy man, I'm telling you, just... Ooh, such a heavy hit there. I'm so glad I carried minis, because that was the only thing that saved me. I, I think if I hadn't have had those, 
I, I really wanted to pop that med kit, but I'm like, if I sit there and try and do that, he's going to obliterate that wall, and I'm going to be done. And see, I thought he was to the right, and he juked me and went to the left. If I hadn't got that headshot, too. But this... Again, I didn't even realize how many people were over here. I thought maybe two, maybe three people were over here tops. But I'm like, screw it. You know, I'm this far. If I place top whatever, I'm happy with it. No one saw me. <laughs> Snuck that guy with a knock. And then I was really, really trying to be careful. See, I could have blew myself up there. And I'm still not used to the time change. Oof. One pumped. Get wrecked. Ooh. Oh, it's it's so strange to rewatch it. That's that weird that weird glitch where even after you've knocked or killed them, they're still standing. I remember that being a problem in Rumble before. So I, I guess it's just in all modes now. Again, maybe it's just something that happens because of connection. I'm not for sure. That was when my hand started to shake, though, was during all that. After I knocked the first guy with the RPG, it started, and by the time I was facing the goalie skin, I couldn't even hold the controller. It was so nuts. But at this point, I'm like, where's the people at? Where, where are the people? Because you come in here and you see all this building, and you, you get panicked. I'm not going to lie. And see, I didn't even realize there was somebody on the mountaintop there. How that person didn't see me, I don't know. I, I don't know if I blended in because of the way my character is with the rock, because it's more of a dark color. You know, I think they would still be able to see me because of me going purple, and my tassels are blue or white. But, see, I didn't even realize I did that much damage to that dude. And see, I can't tell if it's just people that don't know how to play, or if it's like, you know, the older brother hands it to the younger sibling, or the older sister hands it to the younger sibling. But, I, I thought that guy had left, and he looked like he kind of was going somewhere else. Now, right there, I actually shot a rocket, which I don't know why it didn't show the actual... Uh, footage of it again it's I guess just one of those things in replay that happens now see I thought the guy had a sniper but it turns out that was actually a hunting rifle and see I'm, I'm trying to be smart I'm trying to play smart I'm the one in circle he has to come to me I don't have to worry about it and in game I really thought that was a lynx from far off boy was I wrong and again, I, I'll show you from the point of view of the guy that I rocketed and this guy's point of view. But this this kill... Now see, OP strats here. <laughs> I'm being smart. I'm building top and bottom. I'm trying to, trying to get away. Again, still don't know how he didn't get me in the turret. It's like... It's like I could hippity hop just in enough time to get away from his shots. And see, I'm like, all right, where'd you go? I'm, I'm like, half panicked. It's like, okay, if you were coming up top, you would have been there. And I never, I didn't know he was trying to heal before. But I saw him go in that bush. I'm like, nope, you're done. Goodbye. <laughs> Rocket for the win there. <laughs> I mean, I was laughing, I was celebrating, I think I almost woke up one of the kids because both kids were passed out. <laughs> it was that exciting, but... See, this guy's just crouch walking. I don't know if he meant to, or... Sometimes when that happens, people have connection issues, so I kind of felt bad. Because see, he's trying to hide behind the tree. I'm guessing he didn't have anything to heal with. And see, he heard that rocket, and I guess the way it sounded, from his point of view, it does sound like it came from behind him. And see, right there, he was up against that wall as soon as I hit it. Now see, one, I thought that was a, for some reason, sniper. I should have known better because of how quickly it was shooting. And two, from a distance, this looks like a lynx, which, apparently I'm blind. Apparently I need to go back to the eye doctor because that's a prisoner skin. For one. 
But yeah, I still think it's interesting to be able to see it from their point of view and see, again, I talked about this in my other video just a little bit ago, if you guys already watched that. <laughs> nope! <laughs> that, that rocket kind of missed me there, opponent! <laughs> but it, it's just kind of interesting to see from their point of view of, you know, if I would have done something different, how badly could it have gone? And I know this guy had to be mad when I was sitting there jumping shots. Lagged out there again for a minute. Again, I don't know if that's my connection, so that's just the way the replay works, or if that's just the way replay is. And I didn't realize the storm had gotten him that bad. I thought he had already gotten down the mountain and see was trying to be smart, trying to heal up. Going in with the slow-mo here. Nope! <laughs> it's still funny, but beef sucks and dudes. That's my solo squad win. Tell me what you think. Leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. And till the next one, I'll see you later. Stay awesome. Bye.